on our way to the gym to train some arms. We are just under eight weeks out and uh, we're starting to drop calories now and things are getting a little bit tough. Some days, some days are not. Some days are tough in the morning and easy at night. Some days I wake up and I feel like I could win the Olympia in the morning and then I feel like I shouldn't even be bodybuilding at night. So it's the nature of the beast when you're bodybuilding, you know, things can change from hour to hour. It's really strange. I think it's part of the sport that a lot of people don't understand if they don't if they've never done a show, if they've never dieted extremely hard, if they've never been into low body fat levels, I don't know if it's something to understand. And on top of all that, you have to add the pressures of competing and it's also a career. So you're trying to make sure you're making money and you're doing well and you, you want to do well in your show. So not only is there the, you know, the phys physiological issues with being hungry and whatever, there's also the exterior pressures that come with the sport, like financial need and career gains and uh, overall status in the sport. You know, you, you want to remain relevant. You don't want to, you know, the pressures of doing well are have many degrees to them because, you know, if you don't do well, that hurts your finances, it hurts your standing in the sport, it hurts your ego. It, it just it kind of starts to compound itself in many different ways where as if you do well now you feel good about yourself you your career starts doing better you your business starts doing better you start your finances get better your contracts start coming in a little bit more guest closings come in a little bit more I mean it's just there's a lot of pressures that come along with being a competitive bodybuilder that I never spoken about because everybody's so focused on the physiological aspect of the sport no one ever talks about the mental side of it you know it's funny I'm constantly getting messages about how to stay motivated and how to stay this how to stay that how do I how do I keep going to the gym how do I stay pumped I don't feel excited to go to the gym and I'm tired and I don't really want to go look Motivation is not going to last long. You're going to be motivated for a week, maybe two weeks, and it's going to get hard. It's going to suck eating the same food every day. It's going to suck going to the gym. Oh, I trained chest last week. I don't want to train chest. I don't know what new exercises to do. Bench press is boring. I don't want to squat. Squatting hurts. My legs are still sore. And that just becomes work. But if it's something you want to do, the work is fun. If it's something you don't want to do, you're probably not going to last. It's probably not for you. You know, some people message me and they say, oh, you know, I don't really feel like going to the gym. I, I'm not, I'm hurt all the time. I, it, I'm sore all the time. I'm not having fun. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. I don't like golf. I don't go golf. I don't want to golf. Golf sucks. I, I'm not going to go golf if I don't like it. And if someone says, well, you have to go to the gym to look good, that's bullshit. You can have a good diet and lose fat and look pretty good. I mean, it helps if you go to the gym for sure. But if you learn how to eat properly, you can still lose weight and look good and you can go for a jog every day and be a jogging guy. Or you can go for a walk or whatever. No one said you have to go work out with weights. I do think it's better, but if you don't like it, you don't like it. Don't force yourself to do something you don't like. But going back to the pressures of bodybuilding, you know, last night, and a lot of bodybuilders will never admit this. Last night I broke. No, I didn't cheat on my diet. I broke mentally. I was laying there with my wife and, you know, things that come along with bodybuilding are things like, you just get miserable. I'm sitting there, we're watching a movie. I can't even focus on the movie because I'm fucking hungry. I have my attention span is five minutes long. That's it, I got five minutes and then my mind wanders because I'm hungry and I can't focus. So my mind starts wandering and I'm like, I start getting miserable and then I'm like, I don't wanna be miserable. If I'm miserable, it's gonna affect her and it's shitty for her to be sitting with somebody who's just fucking miserable all the time. So, you know, just act normal. But you can't act normal, you wanna act normal. You know you're acting like a fucking idiot. You know you're acting miserable but you just can't change because you're hungry and you're miserable. So I broke. I started to complain. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I don't know if this is for me. 
I don't know if I feel like I felt when I was 25. It's different now. Had a long conversation. Ended up being an hour long conversation about whether I still had passion for the sport or not. And uh, I ended up having my last meal and I went to bed. And I woke up this morning and I realized nobody gives a shit. Nobody gives a shit if I retire. Nobody gives a shit if I keep going. Nobody gives a shit if I win. Nobody gives a shit if I lose. Nobody gives a shit if I'm upset or not upset. Nobody gives a shit if I'm happy. And that goes for all of you. Your motivation, your lack of motivation, nobody fucking cares. It's up to you to care about yourself. It's up to you to be responsible to yourself. And just the way I am, I woke up this morning realizing, you know what? Nobody's going to fucking care if I retire and nobody's going to care if I keep going. They'll care for five minutes and then they'll move on with their life. So it's up to me to decide whether I care, whether I want to be responsible for my own life and whether I want to keep going. And I woke up this morning really focused and ready to go train. I went to the gym and I hit it. I felt really good. And I felt kind of re-energized and it almost reset me in a way to think of it that way because when you think you're grander than you really are and that all these people care about all these different things you're doing, it adds more pressure. And when you realize you're not really that important and your shit that's important to you is really just important to you and not to anybody else, it helps you reset and refocus because then you can put the onus back on yourself and you're not using other people as an excuse to do this or do that. It's all on you. And that's why I woke up realizing it's all on me. If I want to do it, I'll do it. If I don't want to do it, tomorrow I'll wake up and say I don't want to do it. And um, so that's where I'm at. So today I woke up, focused, went to the gym, crushed it, did back this morning. Uh, now we're on our way back for round two. We're going to train some arms. And um, yeah, things are good. So we're back on track. We're going to be at the gym soon. We're going to film a good arm workout for you guys. Hopefully I'll get you guys some new exercise combinations that you can put together to help blow up your arms and give you guys some 23 inch guns to show off this summer. So stay tuned.